Alright guys, today I'm going to be reviewing this application right here you see on the screen and this is called Neon Alarm Clock Free and I'm going to go ahead and try to give you as much detail as I can on how this uh, application actually functions and works, the settings and all the coolness inside of it. So if you're having issues trying to figure it out, hopefully this video will uh, get you guys up to speed on it and showing you how this functions. So first things first, this is how it looks like when you boot it up and um, it's pretty cool so let me just go ahead and show you how to set an alarm you have alarms along here along the top and if you want to set one all you do is touch it pull it down and it pops up and has those little z's that are kind of showing you that the application is or i should say the alarm is on and tells you down there you can also see at the top when you do this it does give you in the notification bar that little alarm clock up there on the top so, if you want to adjust one, you don't have to have it on. You just click on it, and it's really nice that it does this. This is how you adjust it, by dragging this little ball around. So we're going to set one to 8, click on the time, and we're going to set it to 8, 10 p.m., so it should go off in a minute. And you can hit OK, or you can actually swipe this up here and set it for to, to go off on every day at 8 10 p.m. and hit OK. So the alarm is set and it's going to go off. And I'm going to show you a couple different things. So the first thing I'll show you when this alarm goes off is how to snooze the phone. There are two different ways you can do it. And like I said, when it goes off here, you will see how that functions. Number way, one way of snoozing the phone. Okay, so here you go. So, number one way of snoozing the phone, guys is going to be to take this little button and go over to the Z's and if you take it over here to the X it's going to turn off the alarm so we want to snooze it there's another way you can do it so besides going to the side over there where it says Z's you can just turn your phone upside down and that will snooze the alarm and once the alarm is snoozed I'll just go ahead and show this to you right up here uh, the snooze is set for two minutes on this alarm, so it's going to snooze across for two minutes and then it's going to go off again. Now, um, if you, we're going to let it go ahead and count down that two minutes because I'm going to show you how to turn it off in another way. Because you saw the one way you could turn it off with just sliding over to the X, and I'm going to show you another way. But while we're doing that, let's go ahead and look at that alarm again. Let's go to um, Edits. And this is where you get into the settings specifically for this alarm. Um, so one right here you can see is active. It just means the alarm on or off. You can click on time and you can adjust it here also along with on that circle that we did on the last page. Uh, you have motion controls on or off. We want them on because it does have some neat things you can do there. Right here you can click on this and pick the default sound for this alarm. I just have a default right there. So any ringtone or whatever you want to use for it. Next right here you can adjust the, how loud it is. Then gentle. This is no right now. I'm going to put it as one minute for right now. And what gentle does is it allows the ringtone to slowly increase in volume over a minute. And it just makes it so it's not so abrupt. So like if you have a beep beep for your alarm, it's like a quiet beep beep and then it gets louder. And you'll see that in the next alarm when it goes off. And you have repeat, yes or no. Again, these are those days that you have set up for repeating. And I have them set up for all five. And you can adjust them there just like you could on the last screen. Snooze duration. We had it two, which you can see in the drop down is about to go off. I'm going to set it to five really quick. And then vibration, yes, right there or no. We'll go with that one and back out. So my alarm didn't go off again because I was messing with it. But let's just go ahead and tap it again. And really quick, change it over here to 14. Hit done. 
so our alarm should go off in one minute. And I'll show you the other way of turning on and off the alarm. So while we're waiting on that, you can see you can add an alarm with this button and set it up and go ahead and do that also. Or you can click on an alarm that's already up there by holding down on it and then hitting the X button right there. So now you're back down to just a couple couple alarms. I'm going to get rid of this one too, just to delete them, get rid of some of the clutter. And now you can see if you want to add an alarm, you could just go there and add one. It's it's pretty pretty simple. Um, so also the other thing I'm going to show you while we're waiting is night mode. So if you slide your finger across, it turns on night mode. And you can slide up and down to turn the brightness up and down of night mode. Which is just a nice little, nice little feature. If you want to turn it back off, slide back across the screen and you'll be in day mode again. So you guys can see up here it does have this nice little Z animation because the alarm is set along with the you know highlighted looking uh, circle. There you can see there's another one set just for the sake of doing it. Alright, so here you go. This is the alarm going off again. And now you should be able to hear the sound increasing gradually um, as it goes off. So again, you saw the two ways of snoozing, which would be to go over here to this side or to flip the device over. The last way of snoozing, or of turning it off, if you want to turn it off now, you can slide over here and it'll turn the alarm completely off. Or if you want to turn the alarm completely off, there's another way, and that way is going to be by shaking your device. So. Just shake it back and forth, and there you go. Whoop, let me shake it a little more. There you go. That should have shaken the, the alarm completely off, and it is turned off. Pretty cool uh, little, little setup right there for turning the alarms on and off. You can see that one is off, and our other one that we had set is on, so we'll turn them all off right now. And that's pretty much it. I mean, that's that's pretty much most of the features I'm seeing in here. That little shaking for turning it on and off is really nice. The duration or the gentle, so it, it gently wakes you up with the volume increasing over time is a nice feature as well. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. I uh, hope this was informative for you and you have a full grasp of how to use this Neon Alarm Clock Free application, which is a real nice application for the alarm clock. The gestures and the motion stuff is really nice on it. Absolutely love it. So there you go. Hope you guys like this review. As always, Root Junkie out.